UFC Fight Night Delice vs. Imavov took place on February 3rd and raked in around $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract. And while it took place in the UFC Apex so there are no ticket sales to report, the total revenue would have been boosted by sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? Welcome to MMA Money, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, let's jump into the first fight. But before we get into the main card, Diana Belbitsa was submitted by Molly McCann via armbar in the first round, taking home $42,000. While McCann earned a $50,000 performance of the night bonus and brought in a total of $191,000. Now kicking off the main card, Charles Radke secured the first round finish by knocking out fellow welterweight Gilbert Urbina with a vicious left hook. Urbina earned $16,000 on the night while Radke took home a win bonus and earned a total of $28,000. The second fight ended before it even started as an eye poke by Ali Azhab Hizriev left Mahmoud Muradov unable to continue, resulting in a disappointing no decision. Hizriev would bring home $16,000, and as neither man took home a win bonus, Muradov earned $38,000. In the third fight, number 7 ranked women's flyweight Viviani Araujo took on number 9 Natalia Silva in a fight that started slow but picked up in rounds 2 and 3 with Silva landing kicks, jabs, and spinning attacks in the final minute. When the scorecards were read, it came down as a unanimous decision victory for Silva. While she lost, Araujo took home $76,000 and Silva earned a win bonus and took home just under $90,000. The fourth fight saw Muslim Salikov apply a low-kick heavy approach against fellow middleweight Randy Brown. But after a short break in the action for an eye poke, Brown delivered a right hand that dropped Salikov to the canvas, resulting in the first round knockout. Salikov brought in $54,000, and Brown took home a win bonus, as well as a performance of the night bonus, for the biggest paycheck of the night at $238,000. In the co-main event, Hanato Moicano controlled Drew Dober from top position for the better part of the first two rounds. Dober landed several hard shots in the second and opened up a big cut near Moicano's right eye. But in the third, it was more of the same as Dober was unable to get up off the mat long enough to give himself a puncher's chance. The scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Moicano. Dober earned $105,000 to show, along with $21,000 in fight week incentive, for a total of $126,000. While Moicano brought in $70,000 to show and $70,000 for the win, $16,000 in fight week incentive for a total of $156,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, number 11 middleweight Nazardin Imavov took the majority decision against number 8 Roman Delize. Imavov scored a knockdown at the end of the first round and followed it up with big shots but was unable to get the finish. The middle rounds were clinch heavy with Imavov's strikes looking sharp. However, he was deducted a point in the fourth for kicking the head of a downed opponent. Delize threatened with submission attempts in the final round, but the fight went the distance and Imavov would get the decision victory. Delize took home $50,000 to show and $6,000 in fight week incentive for $56,000 on the night. And the winner Nazar Dean Imavov took home $46,000 to show and $46,000 for the win, $6,000 in fight week incentive, coming out to a total of $98,000. The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video were just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.